the card yesterday was the running of the 1981 Caulfield Cup. A thrilling finish as called by the accurate one, Bill Collins. Racing. My Axman and Hyperno began well. So did Brewery Boy and Just a Dash. Wider out, no peers up with the leading division from Polar Air and then Penny Edition. Glen Sun and Mr. Cromwell are coming across from out wide and dropping out towards the rear is Tasman with Deck the Halls and also Shamrock and Rio Janeiro. Down to the judges' box they race. About four or five in line here. Penny Edition just in front of over on the inside is My Axman and out wider on the track Mr. Cromwell going up to join them. No peers settle down fourth with Polar Air on the inside of it from Glen Sun and they've slowed right up. Then just a dash, and they were followed then by flashing light moving up the on the outside towards the lead. Brewery Boy behind it from Mr. Independent, and then Silver Bounty. They're followed by Sovereign Red, who's a long way back in the field with High Perno and our Paddy Boy. They were followed a length further back then by... Uh, at the head of the others, Deck the Halls and Tasman back with it, and also Rio de Janeiro and Shamrock. As they went along to the 1400 and flashing light took over now, clapped the pace on to lead by three lengths to Glenson in second position. Penny Edition is running third over on the inside of No Pier. One to Polar Air and then a length and a half further back in the field came over on the inside is My Axman well placed. They were followed by Mr. Cromwell in that bunch and then about a length further back uh, came just a dash and then Mr. Independent trapped deep behind its sovereign red and they were followed then uh, further back again by Silver Bounty. Our Paddy Boy is next with Hyperno and Deck the Hall still well out of it. Down to the 1,000 metres and flashing light only a length in front now from Mr. Cromwell. About a length and a half further back then came over on the outside is No Pier. On the rails is Penny Edition, Mr. Appendant uh, making some ground. Then My Axman is badly blocked on the inside. Then Polar Air, Hyperno and Sovereign Red coming off the fence. Then Just a Dash and Silver Bounty from Deck the Halls. They've got about 500 to go and coming to the corner now and No Pier went up to join the leader and White having a look around. It's it's flashing light and no peer together from Brewery Boy making a fast run as they enter the straight. They are followed by Mr. Cromwell and then De Deck the Halls and Hyperno. Next penny edition but no peer in front with 200 to go. He drew a length and a half clear of flashing light. Silver Bounty's the danger coming home hard. No peer in front but Silver Bounty's grabbing him quickly. It's no peer and Silver Bounty. They're hitting the line together. Silver Bounty done best. Silver Bounty a half head to no peer. Three lengths away third, deck the halls. They're followed by flashing light, brewery boy, and then our paddy boy. Behind them was Mr. Cromwell, followed by High Perno. Then just a dash, penny addition. Next is Rio de Janeiro, and then Sovereign Red well back. And uh, Glenson is back with it, and Shamrock one of the last home with Tasman, and Glenson was actually last over the line. And the time there of 227.1, equaling the course record, the margin a short half head, and as called by the accurate one, Bill Collins, the 1981 Caulfield Cup. Race, a real thriller, and the winner, Silver Bounty with Midge Didham at 11 to 1, 470 and 145. Second, No Pier, 13 to 4, favourite, $1.10. Third, Deck the Halls, 15 to 1, $2.10.